Welcome to this quick tour of the latest version of Scribbler. This has been a pretty significant update, so I'll quickly walk you through the main new features. As you can see, the user interface is mainly the same. We have a few additions and a few new features. So, first of all, let's have a look at the assets panel. You can see now we have got folders. So if you upload a file or create a snapshot, it will be organized into one of these folders. I've already uploaded a PDF file, so for example, I can drag that onto the whiteboard and I then I can make annotations. So if I use the pencil tool here, I can um, you know, highlight certain things or make any other annotations. So that's pretty much how it always used to work, but we've now got a PDF export button here, which allows us to save the pages on the whiteboard as a PDF file. And that's really handy if you want to back up the content in your room. Just click that button and then in this case we don't want to export all the pages we just want to uh, export um, for example pages one to two and we want to fit it to page or we want to resize the page so we just leave that as it is click the export button it will snapshot those pages put them in a pdf file that we can then save locally so i will just save that here to my downloads then when I open that up in Acrobat, um, you can see here, if I would just resize this window a bit, you can see now it has saved that document and those two pages, with complete with the annotations. Now obviously this is a flattened image um, inserted in that PDF, but still we think this is quite an exciting update. The Latex editor has also had a, an update when we've now got a point and click interface. So you can here see if you're not that familiar with latex, you can actually have a little look around and just by clicking the different symbols, you can then generate your formula. And of course, you can still add your own additions here in the, in the field. And then when you're, when you're happy with the result, just add that to the whiteboard. You can change things like the, the color of the actual letters and also the background color. So we hope you like this. And let me just clear this page. So another thing is a full screen mode. Up here, if you click this button, the whole user interface will go to full screen, which can be quite handy if you wanna have a bit more space on screen. Um, it will be hard to see that in the screencast, but if I click this button, you can see it prompts me if I wanna allow full screen mode. Uh, and then obviously we're on the whiteboard here but I'm gonna just resize that back down so I can continue with the screen, uh, with the screencast and the demo. So, uh, both from Alpha is mainly unchanged. So, uh, with one small addition, which is if you generate a formula now, it will put the results page into the chat. Now, this was actually a requirement that both from Alpha asked us to implement, um, but still, we find this is quite useful because you can now click that link to actually go to the Wolf from Alpha results page, which might actually provide you some more information than the visual result that Scribbler gives you. The other thing is we've now got keyboard shortcuts for most of the tools. So uh, for example, if I press the L key on my keyboard, I switch to the line tool. If I press the V, I switch to the select tool. Uh, and then I've got other tools like, uh, you know, the stamp for example is P. Uh, we've got uh, the pencil tools using S here for example and um, if you hover over you will see what the shortcut is so in this case the normal pencil is F and the smooth pencil S for sugar and then other tools here like rectangle R uh, the text tool T and so on the text tool has also had a small update so if we press T and then click on the whiteboard you can see we've now got a little trash can icon which will make it a lot easier to remove a particular text object. So once we've got some text here, we can just click on the trash can and it will remove that field. Previously, it was always a little bit difficult to delete a, te to delete a text object from the whiteboard. Now, one feature that lots and lots of people have asked for a long time is an eraser. Uh, we finally added one. So, as you can see here, you just click the eraser tool and then drag it over a bitmap or another shape. Now I should point out that this is basically 
not a real eraser, it is a, a white pen effectively. So keep that in mind because it's still possible to select that erased area, so to speak, and move it. So it, it, it is just a white blob effectively. But in most cases, we think this will basically do the job of an eraser pretty well. We've also got a drag hand icon here at the bottom. So this can be useful to just drag the contents of the whiteboard um, and basically instead of scrolling. Now it's a little bit temperamental, so it's a bit of an experimental feature, but yeah, give it a try and provide us some feedback. We might keep it or we might remove it again depending on how it performs. Now visually the assets panel had a little bit of an overhaul as well with some new icons. So here's the file upload icon, uh, had a little update. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the major features that this version has got. So we hope you enjoy it and um, send us your feedback. Thanks very much.